What is preventing us from speaking out against the abuse and exploitation of domestic workers in Saudi Arabia? We cannot remain quiet any longer. We need to speak up and make our voices heard. These domestic workers are trapped in slavery, controlled by an evil and unjust sponsored system, the Kavala system, that prevents them from leaving their employment if the after they are abused. What is the daily life of domestic workers in Saudi Arabia? They often work from dawn to late at night, sometimes up to 90 or more hours a week. They often lack food, sleep in the kitchen or in a tiny room. They are not entitled to overtime pay, pay or compensation in the case of work-related injury, and they are not allowed to resign. Unpaid wages, being confined to the workplace, and even employers withholding their passports to prevent them from living are among the most common complaints. The Kavala system and the fact that domestic workers are living in the house of their employer make them extremely vulnerable to exploitation, abuse, and slave-like conditions. According to Margin Wright, 30 or 50 may report abuse and exploitation every day. Domestic workers would dare submit official complaints for mistreatment face the risk of employers filing counterclaims of witchcraft or adultery, which are severely punished in Saudi Arabia. 40 Indonesian domestic, Indonesian domestic workers still face potential death services in the Saudi Kingdom. They have been convicted. In 2013, Saudi issued a new degree whereby domestic workers are entitled to nine hours, nine hours of rest each day. But it still means that they can work up to 15 hours a day. They are now entitled to paid mandication after two years of employment but face severe penalties of misconduct. As domestic workers, we cannot raise our voices for fear of being sent back to our country where we must face the hungry faces of our children and that make us endure the suffering. But does it mean that we must be treated like slaves, beaten, abused? Did we not win a victory at the ILO on June 16 when we gained our respect and our dignity? Convention 189 is not only a piece of paper, it needs to be implemented to all domestic workers. We cannot remain silent, our voices must be heard. This is why we launched the International Domestic Workers Federation to unite domestic workers and to free us all from slavery, including our sisters trapped in Saudi Arabia. And this is an appeal I want to make to this house as a former domestic worker from South Africa. We free ourselves in South Africa. We have got rights, and we can only be free of all domestic workers in this world is free and benefit from Convention 189. I thank you all.